we are in Kulturhuset, in uh, my favorite place in Stockholm. And we are with Sara Guarino Werner, and uh, she will tell us about, well, uh, where she works and uh, what does she do. And also we will talk about Anna Odell. Sarah. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, my name is Sara Guarino Werner, and I work as a curator at Haninge Konsthall, uh, municipality-run art space in the outskirts of Stockholm. Tell us a little bit about Konsthall, Konsthall in uh, Sweden, the institution. Is it like an uh, art place? How does, yeah. how does uh, it work? I would say uh, the most important thing is that it's founded by the municipality. So it's somehow, you know, is said to belong to the inhabitants of a certain, you know, city or region and so on. Uh, so it's paid by, by tax money, actually. Uh, so in that sense, uh, you have a certain uh, responsibility to to uh, to show things that are of a certain public uh, interest. Uh, but of course, yeah, that could be discussed what it's of public interest. But um, usually, I think you found find this kind of uh, consales uh, in. Uh, a large house where you also find the library and maybe a scene or some kind of workshops for kids and so on. So, and you work yeah. as a curator, you're responsible for the art uh, yes. events. And uh... I'm responsible for the, for the art space, for the gallery. So the exhibitions that are shown there. Uh, Fantastic. So yeah. as the curator, we uh, we talk about Anna uh, Odell and uh, her film from 2013, The Reunion. And it talks about uh, her uh, experiment. Uh, she just imagined cinematically, imagine her meeting her uh, class, uh, class uh, classmates uh, after 20 years. And there, and she is the one, and it is also autobiographical, uh, she's the one who was uh, uh, really mobbed, uh, bullied really badly by, uh, by well, the, 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 the highest uh, of uh, the hierarchy of the class, uh, so mm. uh, five, six boys. But also, as we see in the whole film, it's a spoiler probably, she kind of is bullied by everyone. Mm. It, uh, Anna Odell is generally quite uh, uh, controversial. And we uh, promised uh, our uh, our listener the Swedish uh, <laughs> uh, reviews or Swedish voice uh, on other Anna Odell. Is she so famous? Uh, is she respected? How and how you see it? Yeah, I think there are different Swedish reactions mm -hmm. uh, towards her work, and I think if it as I think she's seen as a respected artist today. And I, as I remember it, I think she was seen as an artist doing maybe a controversial project, but still in her right to actually do this project somehow as an artist. Uh, but at the same time, there was a huge discussion uh, about her, you know, somehow fooling, um, the, the doctors and the psychiatricians. Yes, because we're talking yeah. about her first 2009, I yeah, think 2009. it was, yeah. and when mm. she uh, uh, pretended that she's in this kind of psychotic uh, uh, crisis and she yeah. wanted to jump out of the one of the bridge in the in the center of yeah. Stockholm, and she wanted to and she wanted to see what would be the old, uh, the reaction mm. of the of the people of the mm. past buyers. And also how it she will be treated in the by the media, police and the, the media yeah. and, the, and the hospital yeah, itself. Yeah. And uh, what what what's controversial about it? I think people thought that you know fooling, uh, uh, you know the ambulance came and so on. That somehow she took tax money uh, from the Swedish yes. state that could have been used instead for somebody that was sick for real. I think that was uh, and. Uh, the psychiatrist that was in charge that night when she came to the hospital, I think he was very, he felt very fooled, I, I believe. And he wrote several articles, I believe, uh, that was very critical towards her work. And so I think there were like two, two different uh, opinions that 
either people thought she was, you know, stupid, fooling, you know, people working hard for for their money, and uh, and that the other way there were people that thought that okay, but she's an artist, she has the right to to actually express and uh, you know try things out. And I think maybe it's also important to say that she actually had a a previous experience of being hospitalized in that certain place. So maybe Which that yeah. legitimizes her to uh, gives her the right to actually artistically challenge this institution. But for me, what was yeah. very, very mm. controversial when I think, and I, I wanted yeah. to ask yeah. you as the artist, as the curator, as someone who deals mm. with the mm. art space mm. to see whether we have the right, uh, mm. whether artists has, should have the rights to actually challenge the audience and yeah. to see yeah. How the audience is um, mm. uh, reacts. Why well, it can be very, very uh, traumatic, traumatic as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's quite a hard question, actually, because out of some kind of art logic, I would say yes. And of course, there is a uh, how do you say? Uh, you have a responsibility towards your you know, co-beings yeah. in the world. So, uh, you know, I think now she did it, I think quite late in the night or something, but, you know, if a mother would have come there and with, the, with the her children, kids and yeah. the ch children would have seen this and got traumatized for life, or, I don't know. Or, if, or even, I, I think yeah. about myself, I would yeah, have, uh, yeah. you know, quite a, mm. quite a difficult time yeah, yeah. later on to mm. feel also full and to be honest i think i i don't think uh in this case actually uh it made the art project much better mm -hmm. uh of course it gave her a huge amount of uh you know media attention mm. so of course that she wouldn't have been known in, in that way if she didn't do this thing. But at the same time, I, I think if she wanted to discuss these questions, maybe it could have been done in another way. Mm. Uh, For me, yeah. uh, mm. also, is the, the question of public space and mm. uh, uh, the legal of, uh, legal side of mm. uh, art performances. So do mm. we have rights to use art spa uh, public spaces for art mm. purposes? Yeah, without yeah. permissions. Mm, I don't mm. know how it is in Sweden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you're quite uh, free, free mm. to be honest. Uh, I think you can get away with a lot of things. Because it's... we are in uh, uh, in the Kulturhuset and in front of the Kulturhuset is a, a, a little bit like a space of the yeah. Hyde Park corner yeah. where people mm. come and they, are, they have the right mm. to express their opinion mm. and there is a lot of demonstration mm. quite regularly. Yeah. So, uh, so that is quite interesting that mm. uh, Sweden uh, is uh, one of those countries that did mm. not regulate uh, public space and save or mm. protect the public space from their artists mm. and that no, is yeah, that there yeah. is a actually democratic freedom of mm. the artistic mm. expre expression i think that the the main thing that actually irritated people was the money question actually that if she would have you know if she pretended to be uh, psychotic and nobody would have you know called the ambulance and maybe if it just would have been recorded by her artist friends or something yes. like that uh, I don't think it would have been this huge discussion. And we I think it was the money that, you know, these, you know, have artists the right to actually, you know, take abuse, money, the abuse system. somehow mm -hmm. the system. But and we will uh, yeah. probably mm -hmm. didn't speak to, about her now if, yeah. uh, if she, it would be some sort of small, <laughs> exactly. uh, low profile. Mm -hmm. without... And of course, I, I, you could eventually argue that this project actually pinpointed some problems that you know are important within the, the, dealing with the with this uh, psychologically yeah, exactly. vulnerable and, people and maybe mm -hmm. also it gave uh, the psychiatric hospital some kind of extra scrutiny that maybe it's important i don't know uh, what about mm -hmm. the the reunion uh, we yes. talk uh, this is the film mm -hmm. about uh, about the possibility of being bullied at school but mm -hmm. she uh, she's using mm -hmm. uh, really in the cruel way using all her 
mm. classmates to show how the mechanism of being bullied and the mechanism of mm. being bullied is um, as she see it is that we are all the time in the position of bully of possible position to ha mm. in having the position that there we are we are bullying someone by saying no mm. by mm. having preferences that's quite cruel isn't it because she really mm. not only accused the biggest bullies in yeah, the school yeah. but also her friends mm. the closest mm. friends and yeah. also people who were bullied yeah in the yeah. class but how how you mm. see this film is it like because sweden is uh, quite proud of having a very good education <laughs> Has it changed yeah. so so much th throughout those years when she was in the 1990s at school, or um, or do you think she actually bring up something very important in the, that we don't talk about society in here in Sweden? I think if you compare to the 70s and 80s, 90s, I think there's a huge awareness of uh, bullying at school mm -hmm. in Sweden today. And uh, also in relation to the teachers, actually, that I, I just had a discussion with a friend not that long ago that, you know, in the 80s and 90s, the teachers could as well be quite, you know, making fun of uh, a student in front of the other classmates and stuff like that. And that would be, you know, yes. completely, uh, you know, impossible today. Of course, it, I, I believe it still happens, but, and yeah. I think there is bullying wherever there are people somehow. So, yes. and of course, children and the... How, uh, yeah. how but uh, 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 as a Swedish person who finished Swedish, Swedish school, how often do you do the reunion in here? Is it like something uh, so popular? Uh, to be honest, have I, you have, been to I haven't been to any reunion. <laughs> re to any reunion. I've heard about them. I suppose you weren't invited. <laughs> um, no, I don't think it's. Uh, you know, I've heard other people have reunions, uh -huh. but I don't. Oh, I don't really. Maybe I didn't even. I. You. I didn't want to know. <sighs> it's I think it happens, but I. I don't think it's that common. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, I think it's very common in Poland, uh -huh. and, uh, mm -hmm. and this is the this, mm -hmm. this is why I think this film w would be kind mm. of interesting way to think about uh, mm. how because the, in this film, what mm. is interesting for me is not only that we 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 are bullied, that we bullying other people, but mm. also that when we meet in some mm -hmm. social uh, circumstances, we actually are in the mode of pretending to mm. being nice. Yeah, and yeah. this is what I think uh, uh, mm. Odell was doing, is to say, mm. well, Sweden, which is the society that likes to be nice, no? <laughs> that <laughs> likes to, in the social situation, to have a zero conflict policy, and she mm. said, okay, what if there is a, you know, some beast coming up to the mm. class and say, you were bullying, you were, yeah, bull yeah. you were, you bullied me. Yeah. You, and, mm. Yes, and somehow it's very un-Swedish to do that. Because in Sweden, you talk about uh, skapa dålig stämning, to, be, to like create bad vibes somehow. Absolutely. And that's seen as a very, very, very bad thing. Uh, you should really try to make everything, everyone feel comfortable and, you know, not try to touch any difficult issues and but I, I think that's also a way of uh, disguising power and mm -hmm. bullying people somehow so Absolutely. I think maybe sometimes to be a little bit more upfront which I think a lot of Swedes are quite afraid of mm -hmm. uh, it, it could sometimes be better because then you can actually have a discussion you know what are you doing to me what did you do you know you can get further you can get on with your life somehow but sometimes when you know of course if you're a pretender it's 
nothing happened. And I think that's usually what the case with these kind of reunions that people meet and then they just, yeah, pretend yeah, everything absolutely. is fine. You know, yeah, I'm married, oh, I have three kids or whatever. And, uh, and yes, mm, absolutely. What, this is what she, yeah. what she, mm, she mm. exposes, this yeah. kind of uh, mm. um, hypocrisy in society. Yeah, society. Yeah. Mm. And the last question which I wanted to ask, because that uh, film, the reunion, reminds me about the tourists, reminds me about the square ah, and yeah. this kind of way this a little bit sweet bittersweet <laughs> way of Swedish people exposing their own weaknesses and kind of little <laughs> in a way yeah. laughing at uh, our uh, you know their own idi idiosyncrasies yeah yeah um hmm. do you think it is characteristic or is it kind of done in the way of <sighs> uh well mm -hmm. but not, not really serious a serious social critic, uh, crit, uh, cri you know, criticism of uh, of this weakness. But maybe it's a, it's a, one of the few possible ways of doing critiquing that in Sweden mm. by this kind of soft ironic touch somehow yeah. that you're that somehow pinpoints the problem. You kind of show that you're aware that there is. A problematic situation going on but you you kind of yeah you don't you don't do you don't you don't you don't pick up the fight no you don't pick up the fight but you somehow want to show you're aware of the mm -hmm. but uh, uh, anna odell, uh, odell actually picking up the fight yeah, isn't yeah. it she's feisty yeah she is and she, i think maybe that's also what made her controversial somehow that she's uh, and in that sense i think she's tough and brave she you know, pursuing her her ideas and as an artist somehow. Uh, and, yeah, and then of course the, you can discuss the the quality of her work, but she's somehow how do you say consistent? Consistent, huh? yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, Anna Udell and uh, Sara uh, Guarino Werner telling us about her. Thank you very much, Snack. Thank you very much for for this. Uh, thank you, and, Ola, uh, for inviting and uh, we we'll definitely will meet Sarah again. Nice to meet you. <laughs>